actually more about are you gonna Are you going to do that reboot that we talked about? There will be a form of a reboot, yes. Why did you um, do these pages, then, if you're going to do a reboot? I mean, you know, you, I, mean, you if th- I, I mean, if I'm going to be making less appearances in the comics, I figure I may as well let myself go out with a bang. Um, no, no, okay. Chris. Chris, I explained to you, a reboot is a complete restart. What happens in the reboot will have nothing to do with the comics you've made thus far. And, you know, you said you had, like, 30 pages. You only uploaded, like, 16. That was the amount I had to complete number book number 10. And the book is completed. You said you had, like, 30 pages. Oh, right now, I just wanted to get book number 10 out of the way. But you said you were going to have, like, 30 pages up on your birthday. So you went back on your word again. Well, I overestimated myself. What do you mean, overestimated? You said you had, like, 30 drawn and ready to, you know, be photoshopped. Well, just accept the fact that I had, like, I finished book number 10, and I had them all ready for show shop, and I uploaded them. You know, if if uh, if you have a deadline with a publisher and they're expecting 30 pages by a certain date and you come to them and say, oh, yeah, here's 16 pages, they're not going to be happy with you. And you didn't, you didn't even upload them on your birthday. You uploaded them today, day after. People who miss deadlines well, don't get paid. Well, I had computer troubles. Of course, and you I had, had to go out, And I had to go out with my family anyway. just to a restaurant to celebrate my birthday. Sign it with your job, Chris. That's another thing. It, putting them in a, in a perspective of, like, he's my job, it just makes me feel... Well, you intend to make him your huge money-making franchise, right? So, yes, he is your job. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't take yeah. your job seriously. But, but, you see, with that, but you see, with that definition, in the mentality of an artist, when the thing was originally supposed to be a work of art and, cre- and creativity, then it just cheapens it. Um, well, then I could say it cheapened it when you started saying you intended to you know, publish it and make money off of it. So, so what you're telling me now is you have no intention of ever making money off Sanchu. Because if it is just a work of art for its own sake, that's fine. But you keep promising, you know, deadlines that you miss, and you keep saying you're going to publish it and make money off of it. <sighs> Do you not want to make money off Sonic You anymore? No, I would like to make money off of Sonic You. Well, okay, you're cheapening it then. It's not a work of art anymore. Because I had too many inputs from bad people like the trolls. What the hell do trolls have to do with it, Chris? And I have also you, from and I have also you as from, a troll, and my comic kept going just fine. And also, how, from, how do trolls control what goes in the comic? Go ahead. Go uh, ahead. It's one that really take me off, and then it just it just it's like putting it's like putting poison into the water supply. Why do you keep responding to trolls, then? Uh, and and another thing, you have a really broad definition of trolls, it seems, because you think that people that, that ask you questions you don't like in your mailbag are trolls. You think homosexual people are trolls just for existing, because you want to cure gays. Uh, I, th- I think the ironic thing there is gays would probably consider you a troll, because, you know... You, you want to destroy their identity when they haven't done anything to you. Uh, you think I'm a troll, and I've been trying to help you. Well, I'm sorry. Sometimes the things I have been trying to elaborate, I get misunderstood often, and it just really makes me feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm being misunderstood. Mis- 